There are two kinds of rugby players, boys. There's honest ones, and there's the rest. Okay. The honest player gets up in the morning and looks himself in the fucking mirror and sets his standard, sets his stall out, and says, I'm going to get better, I'm going to get better, I'm going to get better. He doesn't complain about the food or the beds or the referees or all these sort of things. These are just peripheral things that weak players are always complaining about. The dishonest player. If I tell a player he's too high or he's, too, he's not tight enough, he's too fucking high. He's not tight enough and that's it. And I'm the judge and not the player. And we accept that, and we do something about it. We've coached Lions teams before, and we've complained and carped about this, that, and the next thing. And I liken it a bit to the British and the Irish going abroad on holiday. The first thing they look for is a fucking English pub. The second thing they look for is a pint of Guinness. And the third thing they look for is a fish and chip shop. The only thing they accept is the sun. They don't take on anything that's good or decent or different abroad. If we do that, we're sunk. Because we don't go back bitching, we don't go back carping, oh, we've done it this at Twickenham or Arms Park or Lansdowne Road or Murrayfield. No, no, these days are past. What's accepted over there is not accepted over here. And it's not accepted by us, me and you. So from now on, the page is turned. Okay. We're on a new book. Different attitudes. We're honest with ourselves. And in many respects in the forward play, and let's be fucking honest, we've been second best. We can match them, but only if we get right here and right here. Two weeks. There's battles all along the way. There's a battle on Wednesday. There's a battle on Saturday, there's a battle next Wednesday, and there's a battle the following Saturday, there's a battle the following Tuesday, until we're fucking into the big arena. The one we were there on Saturday. And by that time the fucking lions have to make them fucking roar for us. Because they'll be baying for blood. So let's hope it's fucking springbok blood. We're focused. From now on, the gloves are, kick gloves are off. It's bare knuckle fucking stuff. And only at the end of the day will the man who stands on his feet win the fucking battle. Forget about the rest of the session, right? Forget about the rest of the session. Forget about what we're going to do later. Now is the time we fucking crawl off this machine. We crawl off the fucking thing. Yes? Every fucking ounce goes into this. This is the most important fucking part for Wednesday. Every fucking ounce. Right? Come on. Exactly right. Oh, ready! Oh, ready! No! Ready! Ready! No! Ready! Ready! Come on. ready! No! It's their ball. His feet are back. There's eight against seven. When his leg moves, we knock them back. Exactly what they're doing to us. <coughs> okay! That's good. Hold it there. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. No money. No money. You only had 300 on you there. You never moved it. Fucking bunch of cats could move that.